This video is sponsored by Travel with CJ and Preferred Travel Partners. Bon voyage, bienvenue, welcome to Taste Try Travel. And it's our last night on board Regal Princess. Wow. Is it good? It's It's good. <laughs> it's a camera sky. We're listening to the left. <laughs> Is it strong? Oh, I'm listening to the left. Okay, so this is ginger. I, I actually really ginger like that. Beer. And yeah. the reason that I don't like that is because when I was young. Am I listening? Sorry. <laughs> when I was young. God bless her, she's had a little too much to drink. <laughs> oh my. Let's rewind to breakfast and see how all this started. <laughs> hard to get my butter melted. I'll start with maybe the opportunities here. I ordered, how did I order my eggs? Over easy. They were on a hot plate. By the time they got to me, they were pretty much over hard. The ham steak was fantastic. About that thick, very happy with that. It's still pretty early and we are headed up to the pool to get a nice sun lounger. All right, so we just heard from the bridge that there is a pretty big rainstorm. They tried to miss it, but it ends up we're gonna have to go right through it and we are back uh, right off the coast of Cuba. We just settled in, found ourselves some nice loungers by the, by the pool. You see, Chris is already moving all of our stuff. So uh, we're gonna pop in the shade for a while, let this rainstorm pass, then hopefully we'll be able to uh, hang out and maybe go swim. Oh, hold on, my finger is right by that the whole time. Well, whatever, you get the point. I was in the hot tub watching Edward Scissorhands on the fun. big screen. Anyway. What did you bring it, back? Uh, I brought back a frozen grasshopper. How is it? It's creamy and tastes like a dessert. Yummy. Barely past 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm having <laughs> dessert. We're having some chill time by the pool. Um, as everybody, all of our friends know, I'm a film nerd. Sure. I love good old films, good new films, all good films and bad films. If they're mediocre, I don't like them. Anyway, Edward Scissorhands is one of the best films. It's one of my favorite. Vincent Price, 
He should have been, he should have won an Oscar for his performance. It's turned into a film blog now. His career was used in cheesy movies. It didn't exploit how good of an actor he could have been. And this movie really does. So enjoy Vincent Price's performance in Edward Scissorhands. So we've had pizza how many times on board? We've had all the pizza. So we've had pizza from Alfredo's. We've had pizza from Prego Pizza out here by the pool. And we've had in-room dining pizza. Um, and they're all really good. Oh, the movie got really quiet. <laughs> what else do we have to do today? I have a special tour I'm going to show you guys. I'll be sure to um, tune in for that. Oh, we have Chops, not Chops Grill, Crown Grill tonight Crown grill for dinner. Um, what else do we have to do? That's why we're supposed to write these things down and we don't. <laughs> to Vines and we're going to tell you what we're going to do. All right, Beth. It is time for the world exclusive. First time ever seen on a cruise vlog. Challenge. Guarantee you that. You have 20 minutes. We're going to time it to okay. complete your challenge. You know the rules. I know the rules. You know the rules. You don't know the rules. I'll tell you on the way. Are you ready? I'm a little nervous here. You put a lot of expectations on me. You should be. This is a world first, <sighs> world exclusive, right here on Taste Try Travel. <sighs> you gonna have a drink ready for me when I get back? I will. Okay. Ready? Go. Ah. There she goes. All right, people, this is what we got to do. No running allowed. I've got to ride every single elevator at least two floors. Oh, oh, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, I'm stuck already. I'm stuck already. I'm stuck already. I only have 20 minutes. There's three banks of elevators. I got to ride every single elevator, two floors minimum, and I have to show you what's written on the bottom. I know I'm not supposed to run, but I'm really behind her. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Two floors. Two floors. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So you've traveled. You haven't lived. Up two more flights. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try going down and see what happens. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Keep coming up. Keep coming up. All right, we're about halfway through the timed challenge. Wonder how she's doing. Oh, so sorry. I know that the forward and rear elevators or aft elevators um, don't have as many as the midship. This is it right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, so we only have four elevators to do here. All right, we'll start in this one anyway. Where are we at? We're at Baja. Yeah, I'm 216, that's right. I'm trying to hit all the elevators. Why? 20 minutes, it's just a, it's, oh. a, it's a challenge. Oh. Which one did I see? Oh, 16, okay. No, no, open, okay. And I think it's only fair to point out that 20 minute time limit that we uh, came up with was a guess. We don't have any clue. Uh, we didn't like do any test runs or anything like that, so came up with some arbitrary 20 minutes. It might take her 40 for all we know, but. Yeah, see, here we are. That was the midships I did. Uh, I have to go all the way back there. All right. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Going down. Okay, we're at 14. Um, I've got to go to 11. Okay, 16 minutes. Deck 12. Down to 12. Aloha. Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Going 
laying down. Okay. Um, where am I at? I'm at 12. Let's go to 10. All right, we need one more. One more. 16, 17 minutes. I have three minutes to ride the last elevator. Deck 10. And get to Chris. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 20 minutes and three seconds. I lost, but at least I got on every elevator in 20 minutes. Let's see how long it takes me to get back to Chris. You appeared out of nowhere. I couldn't even get the camera up quick enough. Wow. I missed, but I have to tell you. Let me see. Hold on. 22 minutes, 22 seconds. I'm, I'm just about dead. I'm literally <laughs> just about dead. A key mistake I made was I started midship. I should have started front, midship, back. You, we would have been real close with 20 I would have minutes. been really, really yeah. close. There you go. It was a fail, there but it go. was fun. like cinnamon candy right off. You get a little smell of citrus in your nose. And then after that cinnamon candy, then the rum gets you. Christopher, you went crazy. Is it spicy? It's got a little bit of spice. Okay. okay. Everybody enjoying the cocktails? Woo! Woo! So it's really fun being in here because the head bartender has a microphone. She has a little video camera set up looking straight down. And she kind of talks through how she makes all the cocktails and kind of stories about them. And even in the back of the bar, you can see the screen so you can see exactly what she's doing. Um, so you can decide to sit at the bar and get like a first-hand view of all the drinks. And um, I think she kind of does it through the night. And when we ordered, of course our server knew our names, and so she called out our names as she was making the drinks. So it's kind of really some fun interaction um, with the bartender that you kind of get when you're not necessarily just sitting at the bar, even if you're sitting in the back, you can kind of still be part of the show. So that's really fun. I think we said before it's very reminiscent of the Fortune Teller Bar on the Carnival Mardi Gras, just in that it has some fun, uh, uh, fun and interesting are the same, so I shouldn't say both. Fun and creative cocktails. They have a total of eleven. Many people, many people find the guillotine interesting. This conversation went dark. Not many people found it fun. <laughs> Um, 11 drinks total. We've had five out of the 11 drinks. We were thinking we might try all of them, but I'm a little Definitely. scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Much better than my first drink. I really like this one. So there's an appetizer portion, a soup and salad portion, and a seafood portion. Um, and we'll probably order a couple of what? You look like a Muppet. I know I do. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm gonna have to like cut my steak up here. <laughs> Listen, so when we're filming, um, 
sometimes it's awkward when you're like right up next to somebody else. So I always ask, hey, if you're able to, can we sit a little bit separate from people? Um, just so we're not making somebody else uncomfortable. And so they gave us this, this like... Big booth. Big booth. They have a soft one, dark one, and then they have a white rose from... Oh, that's blue cheese? Yes, blue cheese. Oh, that's not good. Maybe that one. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. So the host came up and said, do you remember me from upstairs? And I kind of feel so bad because with their masks on, I can't quite tell that I can't distinguish them, you know? I wish I could see their whole face. I love it when I can pick my salt. Do I look like a little girl sitting here? Yes, you do. But I'm I... so far down. <laughs> Oh, I got blue cheese bread. It actually looks so delicious. I'm so sad it's blue cheese. I'm pretty good. Good. Okay, so mine is the black tiger prawn and papaya salpicon. Maybe papaya salad. I don't know what I don't know what salpicon is, but it has a mustard seed aioli. There's enough mustard seed actually on the shrimp here and it's kind of tucked in the center. You do get a little bit of a texture. I'm not sure I would call these prawns. <clears throat> I think a prawns is like bigger. Um, but this aioli is delicious. This lobster cake looks so good. And transported to the bottom of the sea wow. where they fry things. I get rich lobster texture from this perfect fry yeah. right here. And this tarragon just adds a tiny little bit of herbal Earth. essence to it. That's wonderful. Dun, dun, dun. Saving room for more, is that why you didn't eat it? This this one tip right here was so decadent. You can't possibly eat it. So anymore. rich. <laughs> so out of this world, I can't possibly eat any more asparagus. <laughs> What's your favorite soup of all? Split pea soup. Oh, that's not what you're supposed to say. What's your it second is. favorite soup of all? French and soup. There we go. This is important when eating. French onion soup to get a nice, enjoyable cheese pull. Whoa. You're gonna be out of frame soon. Oh my goodness. I can't even, oh my I, goodness. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start dropping my soup. <laughs> Sorry, waiter. <laughs> The soups from the floor. That's an excellent, excellent cheese yes. or cheese ball, whatever this is. Roford. Yes, yes. I yes. had no idea that Roford was so good. I had to get this because I've never seen this on a menu before. This is actually the shrimp and pancetta bisque with a chickpea crouton. What? Nice and thin, looks very similar to a lobster bisque. I'm sure it's probably prepared the same way. Is That's that chickpea my crouton? chickpea crouton. Yes, I'm gonna try this first because I don't want it to get too soggy. It's almost like chickpea flour maybe. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe like they just mixed it up and rolled it and then kind of cooked it. Does that make sense? Like yeah. a crouton. Almost like a dumpling instead? Almost like a dumpling, yeah. Um, a crouton you would think would have crunch. Um, there, There is none. So I got a little knife. It's made almost to look like a switchblade. <laughs> Let me see, your, show your knife. Mine's the fanciest one in the regular drawer. All right, Chris, what awkward thing just happened? So there's a manager that we see it seems like every Everywhere, everywhere we go, oh, I said I name? thought his name was David. Well, he came by and he was turned towards Beth the entire time he was talking, so I couldn't see what his name was. 
when he turned towards me, I was telling him that we call up uh, the desk and ask where, and I paused, and I paused, and I paused, hoping, because he was looking directly at my eyes, that he would glance somewhere so I could just do this real quick, just that long, <laughs> and see what it his name work. was. It didn't work. So I called him David. <laughs> his name is Mark. So Mark, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. We I'm know not, who you are. I but. tried to, I tried to kind of say David under my breath. He didn't. It came out loud. Can you check if that's the way you want to Sure, I got the side system. Okay, so I ordered the eight ounce filet. Mm -hmm. You see it? That's a beautiful medium. Wonderful steak. I probably don't even need this sharp knife. Can't go wrong. It's done really well. Chilean sea bass and brioche breaded king prawn with a champagne mousseline. That sounds. That's, I'm, that sounds delicious. I'm glad I ordered it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It just fall, uh, just fell over. Beautiful. And sea bass is. It's a great fish. I don't get it very often because it's so expensive. Exactly. But when I do, I think, why don't I get this more often? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Some rabbits pooped in our drink. This is the gin and tonic Ulta. And what is the reason that Ultima. we ordered the gin and tonic? Mm -hmm. Good Spirits has 11 specialty drinks. We told ourselves we were gonna try all of them over the end of the cruise. It's like 10 o'clock, the very last night, and we have three left, so we're just gonna... Let you taste the gin and tonic. Nothing about this sounds good, nothing. I think traditionally a gin and tonic is known as a ladies drink. So I'll let you have it. No, that's like sucking on a lemon. Go for it. Hey, look, a million dollars. Mmm, that's delicious. Try it. <laughs> that tastes like, that tastes like kitchen cleaner to me. <laughs> This is the Azul Blanco. So it's silver tequila, lime, blue curacao, pineapple, and elderflower foam. So I almost ordered this as my first drink that I had here. Because it looks so good. Wow. Is it good? It's. It's good. <laughs> it's a camera sky. We're listing to the left. Is it strong? Oh, I'm listing to the left. <laughs> it's like, like this. You had a little too much gin and tonic, I believe. Uh. That was that was spacey. It felt like I was floating in space. It's the Orion Nebula in a cup. In a glass. I've had a little too oh. oh, we got another <laughs> one. All in. right. Last one. Bank of meal. Whiskey, basil, lemongrass, and ginger syrup with ginger beer. Listen, I am not a fan of ginger no. in a drink. Yeah, I know you're not. So. Ooh, you can smell. You can smell the. This is mint. That's good. Basil, didn't it? Basil, yeah. I thought it smelled very fragrant. It smells like a garden. It's a little sweet. A little tiny bit of spice like kind of like ginger spice <laughs> ginger, yeah. that was a deep that, deep description uh, yep, there we go 
Okay, so this is ginger. I, I actually and really like that. Beer. And yeah. the reason I don't like that is because when I was young. Am I listening? Sorry. <laughs> I was young. God bless her, she's had a little too much to drink. <laughs> Let me straighten that for you. So, this when ginger. I was young. Was it good? There, is that better? Why well, I don't like ginger and a drink? It's because when I was young, I loved root beer. My family said, well, you should try sarsaparilla. And I tried sarsaparilla, and I went, that's delicious. That's like root beer, except better. And they're like, oh, you like root beer and you like sarsaparilla, you should try ginger beer. Well, thanks for joining us for this Regal Princess series. Be sure to check out our 3x3 on Regal Princess next week, a complete review of the ship with highlights of what we loved and what we didn't. <laughs>